In this video, we're going to use Sudoku techniques to make a hard puzzle easy. This puzzle was suggested by Jimmy Duggan. I hope I said your name right. Jimmy said, this is a good one to solve during self-isolation. I hope all of you with this coronavirus going around, I hope all of you are doing well and uh, wish you all well for the future. Now, before we get started, I just want to mention that uh, we're going to use these techniques uh, and a few others to solve this puzzle. And you can see write-ups about these techniques on sudokuprimer.com. The unique rectangles one is called the ambiguity rule um, on the website, so just look for the ambiguity rule. And the unique rectangles is a very pow powerful technique that you can use on very difficult puzzles. It's a little bit harder concept to grasp, but um, once you understand it, it can help you quite a bit on uh, more difficult puzzles. Well, to start out, I'm just going to um, fill in some of the easier, easier numbers here. One, one, one. Now here's a four, and a four here. So we have ghost fours here, and that's what's uh, what we call ghost numbers. So we have ghost fours here, and therefore that is a four. Five, five, five there. And we have a six here, and there, and we have ghost sixes here. And therefore, that is a six. Now, we have a three and an eight in row four here. And in box six, um, we don't have a three or an eight yet. So any of these three cells could be a three. And either of these two cells could be an eight. And because of those, we have a 3 and an 8 in this row in box 5. We have 3 and 8 in column 5 already, so we have what we call 3 8 twins. That's the twins concept or technique. Now we can't solve these twins here, but uh, now we'll look, watch what we can do with these twins. Column 5 here is only missing two numbers, 1 and 2. So we have 1, 2 twins here, and 3, 8 twins here. And so we have two more cells that we haven't numbered yet or found numbers for, and there are only two numbers left. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 1, 2 twins, 3, 8 twins, and seven nine twins. We can't solve any of those yet, but we're even though we can't solve them, we'll be able to use those for some things. Now let's look at this box right here, box <coughs> box eight. What are we missing? We're missing two, three, six, eight. Two, three, six, eight. A two can go here or here. A three can go anywhere. A six can go here or here because of that six, and an eight can go any any in the, in any of these four cells. Now, because we have three eight twins here, and because of the ambiguity rule, we know that we can't have three eight twins here. We can't have three eight twins here. And we also can't have three eight twins this way or this way because there's a th three or an eight here and here already. So now because of the ambiguity rule, we can probably figure out what's what's missing here. We've got a two here and a six here, and so we're missing two, three, six, and eight in this box. With that two and six we know this right here is either a 3 or an 8. Now because that's a 3 or an 8, 
we know this can't be a 3 or an 8, and this can't be a 3 or an 8, so we know this is a 3 or an 8, and we have 3 8 twins this way. So that leaves 2 and 6 for these two cells, and that can't be a 2 right there because of that 2. So we solved the, solved the 2 and the 6 using unique rectangles. Now if that isn't real clear to you, go to the sudokuprimer.com and look up the ambiguity rule under techniques and uh, you can see a write-up about that and it'll explain how that all works. Alright, now <clears throat> let's look at row 5 here. We've only got one number here, but if you remember we have 7, 9 twins. So let's see what we're missing. The middle box here in row 5 has 5, 7, and 9 already. So we have 6 numbers missing outside that box. And those are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8. And if you notice here, we've got a 1, 2, 3, 4, and 8. So we know that's a 6. Now we couldn't have done that without these 7, 9 twins, but since we know these are 7, 9 twins, even though we can't solve them, it helped us find that 6 there. Alright, and with that 6, we can probably find some more 6s. Here's 6 here, ghost 6 is there, so one of those is a 6. So that has to be a 6 right there. 6, 6, 6. So that's a 6. 6, 6, 6. So that's a 6 there. And we have 6, 6, 6, 6. So that's a 6 there. Let's see what we're missing in row 9. There's only two numbers missing. 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. 3 and 8. And there's a 3 there. We can solve, finish that row. And with that 8 and uh, only one number missing in that box, so that's an 8. And we've got an 8 there. And now, because we've put an 8 here and a 3 here, we know these 3 8 twins right here, we can solve them. Let's look at row 2 right here and see what we're missing there. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 3, 5, 9. Here's a 5 and a 9 and a 1, so that's a 3. Uh, so we're missing 1, 5, and 9. Here's a 1, so 5 or 9. Here's a 5, so 1 or 9. Here's a 5, so 1 or 9. So we have 1, 9 twins here, so we know that's a 5. Let's see what we're missing in row, in box one here. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, five, and nine. There's a five and a nine there, so we know that's a two. And with that two, let's see, we can solve this two right here. We got twos there. All right. Now let's look at threes here. We got three, 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 so three there, so three, three, 
three. Okay, now because of in box three here, we've we've got a three. One of these is a three. You notice that column seven and column nine, the only possible places for a three in box three here. Now let's look at box nine. There's only one, two places a three can go here. And they're also in column seven and column nine. So we can use double column elimination and uh, determine that one of these is a three. That's because in this box, one of these columns has a three in it. And in this box, one of the columns has a three in it. So that eliminates those two columns. And the only place a three can fit in this box is in the middle column. There's a three there, so we can put a three there. That's called double column elimination. You can do that with rows also. There's double row and double column elimination. All right, and uh, let's see. We've also got an eight right here. So we can fill that in right now. Let's look at row five here, see what we're missing here. One, two, four, seven, nine. But remember, these are seven, nine twins here. So we're really only missing one, two, and four. There's a one and four there, so that's a two. And we've got a one there, so we can fill in the four and the one. Now let's see what we're missing here. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Two, five, and seven. There's a two and a five, so that's a seven. So that's a two and that's a five. And we've only got one number left and that is a one, right? Yeah, missing a one there. So we can put the one in and then therefore, therefore there's, there's our one, two twins that we saw earlier. All right. Now we're missing a seven there, so we can fill that in. We're only missing one more number here, and that's a, a nine. So we can fill in the five and nine there in box one. Got a seven there, seven there. So we know that's a seven, and that's a three. With that three, we can fill this three in. And this is a five right here to complete that column, column nine. Missing one number here in row eight, and that's a nine. And one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're missing three and four there. missing in box one. We're missing one, seven, and nine. That's a seven or a nine. That's a one or a nine. That's a one or a seven. Okay, so we can't do much with that. Here we're, we've got a nine, so we can fill in a seven there and a nine there. And now we know the one nine twins that we had here. 
to go like that. And uh, now we're missing a 1 and a 5 there in box 3. So 1, 5. We're only missing one number here, that's a 7. And now we can finally fill in those 7, 9 twins in box 5. And you saw how they helped us find numbers here before. And then we've only got uh, two numbers left. One, seven. So we can finish the puzzle with that. And that's it. Well, um, I hope you hope that helped you understand twins, unique rectangles, ghost numbers, and double column elimination, along with a few other techniques that we we covered in this video in this puzzle. Well thank you for watching and again if you want to learn more about these and other techniques go to the techniques section of sudokuprimer.com. I'll see you on the next video.